previously on Minecraft Story Mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying that aspect of your personality. Once you have been made useful, We'll see about that. No. What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. How is this gonna do that? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? Wow, that... that's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the Redstone Heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? you okay guys I'm not sure what's up there but whatever it is we all need to stick together you got it yeah we've got your back Jesse ah <sighs> feels like just yesterday we were building this place still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices very odd to be back oh you just love being mysterious don't you is that like your favorite thing what? I don't know what you're talking about. I just try not to think about this place very often. Kind of thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. What are you hiding from us now, Harper? Nothing. Nothing. Well, almost nothing. Just the others might not be 100% happy to see me. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. Yikes. If you're the nicest old builder, these other ones must be really terrible. Hey, too mean. I'm trying to help here, all right? Well, you're gonna give us the Atlas, and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? If they don't want to give it up, then I guess we'll just have to take it. Don't get too hasty on me now. If you play your cards right, they should give you the atlas. What do you mean? You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? No, I think she's definitely hiding something. But if we're going to get home, we need her help. Agreed. Don't worry, okay? We're gonna get that atlas and get home. I'm sorry to hear you feel that way, Jesse. Sorry. I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise you both, I am trying to help. You just gotta go through there. A, a door? Like a regular door? Time to step through and find out. Ah! Very what? bright. Oh. thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? <laughs> ah! Yes. 
seems as if some new competitors have entered the match. My, isn't that special? I just, what in the world did Harper dump us into? Like some sort of crazy game. Really? You think this is a game? Oh, no. Jesse's right. Spleef. Gesundheit? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. Ah, be my TNT back of the gladiators. Nice one, brah. Who do you think you are? Whoa. Now, I And think... now you're just trying to be all buddy-buddy? Okay, none of you are responding like you should be to what's going on, so are you all crazy? Mind-controlled? What? Whoa. Hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mavia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately! This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. My friends are dead! You killed them! Wait, wait, wait. A and that's why you're ruining our games? Yeah, come on, jeez, how petty are you? Ugh. Lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, I've got a game we could play. Are you people crazy? People are dying out here. And you're still talking about games? Oh, wow. You don't know, do you? Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> That would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <gasps> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. Where are you taking them? To the mines. Mm -hmm. They're going to mine for quartz until they get their next shot. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <laughs> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? We're from another world. Yeah? Well, you and everyone else here, Pipsqueak. You know what you are? Champ, you're just a little gate crasher. And what do we do with gate crashers? Kill them and send them to the mark. Back off, muscles. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, Champ, 
Why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on Pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? We just want to get our friends and go home. Sorry, Chief, but this is your home now. Might as well get comfy. No way. We've been lost in your stupid portal hallway long enough. We're going home. Meaning you need my atlas. Very interesting. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. What if I was about to change your mind? Oh, that'd be hard because, see, I could be watching Slab squash you right now, which would be highly entertaining. Squash! I love it when he does that. What could you possibly offer that's better than that, Slugger? I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable. For fun. This is... What about this? <gasps> I present... The Redstone Heart! Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off of that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, Slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It could be, uh, pretty dangerous if... You don't know how to use it. Nah, uh Hadrian, you're not getting one finger on this thing until you hand over my friend. I'm not a big fan of haggling, Jesse. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart, you and your friends go back down to those portals. I never look at your insignificant face again. Wait, without the Atlas? But how will we get home? Oh, not my problem. That's your idea of an offer? Seriously? That's terrible. Terrible? I'll tell you what's terrible. Adrian. Well, I do admit the kid is not afraid of playing a little hardball. Even I think that's admirable. Well, you need the Atlas. And I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. I still don't trust you. Don't you worry, Jesse. Once a rule is written into the bylaws, we make sure it's enforced. Isn't that right, Hadrian? Oh, yeah. Otto is a real stickler for the rules. Hmm. All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, addendum. Enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh! He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. You lied to me, to all of us. Hey, hey, I didn't lie, per se. I just didn't tell the whole truth. Ah, uh. uh, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games at least until the others ruined it what happened hadrian and mevia let power go to their heads they started pitting people against each other just for sport forcing people to be here it isn't right come on i'll show you where you'll be staying well here it is, the competitor village, sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yep, at least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work, 
I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. They didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back and, well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. Ugh, I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Nuh -uh, no way, they do not get to put my friends in their stupid minds. Yeah, we gotta bust them out of there. Hadrian always was one for maximizing useful uh, um, productivity. See what you can do here. I'm gonna try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. Gotta get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. Um, hello? Don't you hello, face meat! Wait a minute, you're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab! And face meat doesn't. Rock. Cheaters. Don't stand around breathing a bowl of face meat air. Face meat prefers dweeb free air. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face meat's watch. That doesn't mean just stand there. Staring at face meat. Please, what can I do to get them out? Well, now that you mention it, face meat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So Face Meat's hungry. Do something about that, and Face Meat'll think about getting your friends out. <laughs> wow! Hey, you are that crazy person in Extreme Spleef! Decent. Not as good as Tim, but decent. That's more than I can say for most but not even a third of what Tim was. Who's Tim? Oh my gosh, where do I start? Okay, okay, Tim, legendary Tim, the Tim. First off, Tim is my hero. Here's the secret. We're all just trying to be like Tim. He's perfect. Okay, I'll leave you to it then. Uh, hey. You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Then I guess we're even. Oh, no way we're even. You still have a good teammate left. And you still have all your fancy gear. I'm stuck with two blockheads now. Next round! If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will! <sighs> you haven't been here long? So you wouldn't know. But the gladiators are trained for everything. And they are completely under Hadrian's control. Please, they don't seem so tough. Then you haven't been paying close enough attention. Or you're cocky. Either way, bad business. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. Looks like Tim won. Yeah, Tim. Yeah, well, good luck with getting home. You 
from Spleef. You were like amazing. I know. And I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your probs upset. Especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> yeah, I am pretty upset. Totally get it, bra. I will never do that to one of your friends again because, man, I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that and you'll be like, Tim status. Tim, like one, like you could. People are like already talking about it. They're gonna like say stuff, compare you to Tim. I'm not here to be a Tim, I just wanna get home. But that's like exactly what makes you Tim status. Tim didn't want to be Tim either. He got his whole team home. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you. So if you ever need anything, you just come and ask, shall? No, I mean, seriously. I mean, anything at all. Well, actually, I'm trying to bribe that guard face me. And he's hungry. Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash. And if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. Come on, quick before anybody sees us. Go ahead. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah. It'll grow back. Just, uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One. Planting as I go. And that's another. <laughs> Sweet! And that should all grow back soon. Nice! Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Then I guess I'll just have to make my own. Where can I get some wood planks? Hey, I remember a bunch of, like, wood planks by the dojo. I think they train by, like, punching them or whatever, you know? Thank you, Nell. Hey, no prob. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? There. That should be enough for a table. That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. Boom, bread. Now I should be able to get my friends back. Um, hello? Hey, face meat, got some bread for ya. Bread, huh? <laughs> it's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mmm, it's so warm. Oh, and full of carbs. It took me a long time to make that bread, so you better hold up your end of the deal. Jeez, face meat didn't know you were so demanding. Wait here. Hey, Petra. Hey, glad to see you already figured out the whole nether portal thing. Lucas and Ivor should be right out. One of those huge guys is getting them for me. Nice, nice. It seems like we keep ending up in situations. First with Palma, now with that stupid sploof game. Well, what I'm trying to say is, thanks. 
you know, don't make this awkward. It was just on my mind, and I thought I should say something. Hey, of course I saved you, okay? You're one of my best friends. Well, I just hope Ivor isn't too jealous. I'm glad you're with me in this, Petra. Me too. Here! Oh! Oh, response. Jesse, man, is it good to see you. You too, Lucas. And Ivor. Uh, what are you wearing? Right. Shut up! My outfit breathes wonderfully. Anyway, how's it been going out here? You, uh, you don't have our stuff by any chance, do you? He's worried about his diary! Sorry. Well, don't beat around the bush. What has Harper gotten us wrapped up in? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. Now that you guys are out, we need to be careful. If Petra and I don't win the next round, we're gonna all be sent back through that nether portal. No, no way. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> it's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just uh, stare at you while you mine. It's been terrible! And we weren't in there that long. Lucas, I'm sorry, we can't just leave. We made a deal. We have two more games to compete in. Well, hopefully we can get that over with quick. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Yeah, it's super fishy. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. So you're the one who's supposed to help us? Well, I'll enforce the rules at any rate. If that helps you, then uh, can't be games without rules. <laughs> Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting, you being here. I can feel change in the air. Great, as long as I get to go home. That is the point, but you have to win first. And my job is to make sure everybody, even Hadrian, plays by the rules. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. You got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I wonder what the next event will be. Hopefully nothing too deadly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't take you seriously looking like that. It breathes. Wonderfully! Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the game. <laughs> it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in sleep, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and of course, about our plucky newcomers. Shut up. Shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. <laughs> Wonder how this is gonna go. These other losers don't look so tough. Yep, it's gonna be a good one. I can feel it. All right, I can get behind that kind of optimism. No idea what this event is, I'm sure we'll kick butt. 
All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line, huh? A race. We've totally got this. <laughs> got this, huh? Boom! Surprise locker room visit. Ha! How we doing, everybody? It's Hadrian. And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their <laughs> explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. We have appearances to keep up here. I'm just looking forward to a fair contest where the best person wins. Well, listen to this little pillar of nobility, huh? Don't you worry. That's what these games are all about. Just ask Tim. I admire your confidence, Jesse, but I must ask, what makes you think you can win when so many others have failed? Huh? Do you really think you're special? I think we can win because you're not as good as you think you are. You're cocky. Why don't you some bold little so-and-sos? Watching you burn is going to be extra satisfying. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but... Uh, well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? Thanks, Em. Good luck to you, too. Of course. I saw what you could do in Spleef. Then you made that deal with Hadrian, and I thought, whew, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. Em might be up to something. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. And you could use my help. <sighs> come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. Like a mutual agreement. Oh, come on, Em. You expect me to believe that? What are you up to here? Nothing, honest. It's just... Watching you negotiate with Hadrian, trying to get home... It inspired me. Made me want to go home, too. We should be working together. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them, then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. I mean, that's okay, too. I'm gonna stick with my team, and you should stick with yours. Fine. I'll do that. Competitors, to the starting line. See you at Gladiator Junction. We don't need them. They'll just hold us back. I'm ready for this. Those gladiators are going down. Hint, it's going to involve a lot of punching and kicking and all-around awesomeness. Let's play it safe. Hadrian might have something else planned. You got it, Jesse. I don't trust him as far as I can throw him, which is pretty far for the record. It is a total bummer that we are not going to be able to, you know, work together. Sorry you're going to lose now. I still think you're awesome, though. Competitors, on your mark! Get set. Go! Did it. This has been pretty tough. Can't wait to see what else they throw at us. What did we get ourselves into? And you're just getting started. Huh? Out of the way, chumps. Not 
quite. Sounds like this is Gladiator Junction, but where are the gladiators? could do this. Sorry, Nell. I'm winning this thing. Hey! Whoa! Whoa, Jesse! Way to catch up, dude. Very nice. You just can't take a hit, can you? Get huh? dunked on! Whoa! Slacker! On. Whoa! No! Oh, come on! for you thanks for saving me yeah I don't mention it this race is almost over and we will soon have a winner and I think I know who it might be I am the winner of the lava race the gladiator formerly known as Emily I trust you made good on our deal I did if that's true then why hasn't Jesse respond yet? Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. 
Jesse looks very heated. You tried to kill me! I... I had to. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? No, no, no! Please! probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. No, I get it, Em. I might have even done the same thing in your position. Well, I'm glad that you get it wasn't personal, at any rate. I... I gotta go. Okay, respawning is the worst. You! Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on. I don't have all day. Before I go anywhere, I want more information. And I wanted to kill you, but they wouldn't let me. I guess that means we don't always get what we want. Come on. No. Just Jesse. Ugh. Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. Okay. Well, be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Hmm. Keep up! Come on! Come here, it'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. Jesse, I'm warning you. I think you're gonna wait for me, lackey. I mean, what are you gonna do? Kill me? Oh, wait, I forgot you can't. Hey, what's up? Hi, Jesse. I'm Sebastian. Um, I know you're about to see the old builders, and I just wanted to say, please, just don't make them mad. Whatever they want you to do, just do it. It is way worse for us when they're mad. We're just happy you're here. I know, you're so busy. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Sebastian. Phew. Okay. Good. I don't want to keep you, but some of the miners and I, well, we made you something. I know it's not much, but it's all we have. Wow, thank you. You didn't have to do this. Jesse! Come on! Now we're gonna be late and I'm gonna get in trouble. Just the most not cool. Quit whining, Slab. It's super unbecoming. Oh, I am gonna enjoy squishing you at some point. So this is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... <sighs> mm, just do that a whole bunch. This is incredible. Such amazing use of scale and angles. Right? Knew you'd be impressed. I get to hang out here whenever I want. But why am I standing around? I gotta go find Hadrian. Thanks to you, we're late. Oh, and don't touch anything. Slab said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. No portal, Atlas. A man forever voyaging by... Soren, another one? Where do these keep coming from? Now that's a view. Hey, there's Petra and Lucas! Psst, hey, Bat. Hey, Batsy. Oops. Never seen a quartz desk before.
Hey, that's that Tim guy's armor. Welcome, Jesse. Fantastic to have you here. Just fantastic. Thanks for accepting my invitation. Well, it seems appropriate that you'd gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there. Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. I'm not scared of you. Why should you be? I'm trying to give you what you want. You can look closer. Go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all, he's Tim. Yeah, it seems like he really gives them hope. Even better than that. They really believe in him. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow, but I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. I don't really do quiet exits. Do you have any idea who you're talking to? I could ask the same of you. I know a lot more than you might think, Sparto. See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I don't care whether Tim won or not. I'm better than him. Do you seriously think Tim is real? Is that what you're telling me? Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins. Ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, my treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> uh, Axel! Olivia! Hey, Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here. Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. I'm gonna get you guys free, I promise. It's great to hear that you're not a prisoner, at least. Well, I kind of am. Different. Oh. I'm just glad we're all back together. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow, this is just, wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend. Reuben. Sup? I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Adrian, for an old builder, you are not that bright, you know that? What? I told you, bro, but my name is Ruben, but the Ruben you're thinking of, he was like a little piggy. Though seriously, dude, big fan. <sighs> so you used the Atlas to kidnap my friends and that other guy. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse, incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. But aren't your friends worth it? I don't believe it. You're just a dirty cheater. You know that I'm gonna win, so you're just trying to stack the deck however you can. You wound me, Jesse. Your barbed words. Ouch. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than 
all of them? Do you even really think you can win these games? No way, Hadrian. I don't make deals with cheaters. Fine. We'll play it your way. Which is to say, I will crush you. And you won't win anyway. Slab, get this garbage out of my office. Sure thing, boss. Come on, idiot. Uh, 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 uh. up there. Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. <gasps> I didn't take the deal. Oh, I guess that was probably the right move. Probably. What, you thought that deal sounded good? I didn't take the deal because it was a no-win scenario, and I don't believe in those. I know we can find another way. I just hope you know what you're doing. <sighs> Jesse was smart. Hadrian never would have kept that deal. Even if you did volunteer to throw the game, he'd just send you all to the mines anyway. Probably, while claiming that was the original deal. So, who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. Seems like you might not like Hadrian that much. That true? Good eye. Hadrian thinks Otto's a boring stick in the mud. Otto thinks Hadrian's a megalomaniac. Not a lot of love lost there. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal. And he's an honorable man. Harper, what about all the people that are trapped here against their will? I can win the Atlas, but I'm gonna need you to get them out. You can count on me, Jesse. I'll make sure everyone is out of the mines before the next game is over. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. The old builders expect us all to fight each other. I don't intend to give them the satisfaction. <laughs> You're what? Gonna convince everyone to work together? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. The old builders make you all compete in the games, event after event after event. They build up hope, but they're still controlling everything. They'll never really let anyone win unless we work together. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. He'll just make up some new rule. Hadrian's not fully in control. Winning is possible, Em. Don't you want to win? I do. More than anything. But nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey! Tim did! That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Oh, yeah, because if it weren't for Tim, I probably would have given up a long time ago. That's right. Tim did beat the games, and so can we. <laughs> yeah, sure, except nobody's been able to do it since Tim. So what's the point? And it's not like I haven't been trying. We all have. Oh, come on, sure, Tim's a legend, but we're better than Tim. Better than Tim. Tim somehow beat all those gladiators alone. I don't think any of us are better than that. Yeah, I mean, well, it's like an inspiring idea and all that, but those gladiators are like super tough. And I don't know how Tim pulled off beating them, but okay, look, for real, I don't think I could do that. Like max level scariness, okay? Boo! Oh, no, no, I mean totally OP. Those gladiators are a bunch of tough cookies. Definitely true. 
No way any of you stand a chance against them. Uh, where's Jesse going with this? But that's just because you've never had a leader to help you make a plan. You've never... Oh, I get it now. And with my help, we're gonna do this even better than Tim did. We're gonna do it as a team. That's very oddly inspiring. Look, it was a nice speech, but strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. Strength comes from believing in yourself, Emma. Sounds like a bunch of nonsense, Jesse. Sorry. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <sighs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of diehard Tim fans. We're doomed. I don't know how we're gonna pull this off. What? Of course we're gonna pull this off. You're Jesse. Yeah, we can still do this. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. Ah. <sighs> Gentlemen, it is my privilege, nay, my honor, to be here today, kicking off another wonderful day of the game. That's right, Adrian, and not just any day, but the final day of the game. Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The, it's walls. the walls. So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will. Judge you for it. After putting up with your breath this whole walk? Please. This walls thing doesn't scare me at all. <laughs> Still got your sense of humor, huh? Cute. Babia. For those unfamiliar with the walls, you wanna walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come yeah. down. Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that going to be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Whatever, I'll make it work. I'm that awesome. Oh, can't wait. Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Mevia? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh, gladiators! <laughs> that's right! So all competitors better get to gathering materials, because that clock is ticking! Yeah. Dark. Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Oh, choices are funny, aren't they, Mevia? What do you mean, Hadrian? Some choices nope, just dirt. Places. Come I'm on! Get you nothing but dirt and gravel in your section. Ah. Ah. Oh, yep, it's just true. dirt. It's true. If I didn't convince people to join up with that speech, I'm gonna need something to work with. Gravel, that's worse than dirt. Hey. <laughs> Seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. There's a gladiator. Who's heard this a lot? <laughs> oh, you think? Well, yeah, I do actually. Rhetorical question. At least they gave me a crafting table. Now, if only I actually had anything to craft with. Oh, do you know what time it is? Ask me what time it is, Mavia. What time is it, Hadrian? It's time for the walls to come, come down. down. Uh, this should be interesting. Yeah. Competitors are 
like wild ocelots sizing each other up, unmoving, before they go in for the kill. Jesse! Yo! Jess! Ha ha! Hang on now, we em got movement. Really? Looks like the gladiator formerly known as Emily is preparing her attack. And Jesse, the newcomer, is just painfully unarmed and unprotected. Jesse. This could get ugly. Now oh, hang on, Em, you don't have to do this. Already made up my mind. Jesse isn't even trying to defend himself. Here it comes! The finishing blow! What? <gasps> Figured I'd try believing in myself for once and take a chance. It appears Emily has opted to not strike Thank you, you made the right decision. Well, you could say you really inspired me. Oh, well, that's... Could, but don't. What is Em doing? Why is she doing that? I have no idea. Come on, over here. Yeah, why aren't you all killing each other? Tja, man, I can totally see why you'd be confused. Yeah, we're, uh, confused. I mean, usually the little teams all kill each other, you know? If I were you guys, I would put down your weapons. Yeah, but then we'd have nothing to defend ourselves if you attacked us. <gasps> kind of the point. Don't you see? None of us are the enemy. It's them! They're the enemies. They're behind everything. Oh, my head hurts. Too many. Perspectives. And it appears that the gladiators are being idiots right now. Idiots! But what? Hey, Hadrian, shut your cake hole. Oh, imbeciles! Slab? Slab! What should we do? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure that the slaughter will commence soon, right? With Slab leading the charge, it should be no problem at all. You should be on our side. Join us. I don't know. Facemeat finds that idea... weird. Not going with them, Slab? In my life, I've done some things I'm not proud of. But I won't work for bosses who use people or manipulate them. That's inconsiderate. Wow, Slab, I'm so proud of- Let me finish. You made me late when I was just trying to do my job, and that was real inconsiderate too. And... Then you really rubbed it in my face, reminding me I couldn't kill you. Hmm. Even though I really wanted to at the time. I think I need some time to be my own boss. I think it's time for us to finish this together! It appears all the competitors are headed towards the victory platform. As stated in our rules, anyone who is not eliminated may step on the victory platform and win the games. It looks like they are going to do this together. Right behind you, fearless leader. That won't happen. It can't happen. No, no! And they've done it. The competitors have all stepped onto the platform together, which, by the Builder Game Bylaws, means they are all the <laughs> Which I'm sure my colleague means to say, we are going to find some way to disqualify them. No, we are not. They all win. Uh, no! Levia, Otto, with me. We're ending this. So help me, none of you will leave this place until you eliminate each other. I don't know, Hadrian. I heard Mevia explaining the rules. She explicitly said that whoever steps onto the winner's platform would be declared the winner. And here I am. It's over. No, no, no. Jesse's got a point. This isn't up to you. We control the games. We decide their outcome. Mevia. Shut up, Otto. This runt needs to pay for ruining our fun. So you admit the games are rigged then? <laughs> Sure! Okay, sure, fine, whatever. Mevia? Jesse won these games fair and square. He's earned the Atlas. Otto, I would think very carefully about what you're doing. I have. Jesse, 
With the power vested in me as an officiator of the Builder Games, I am proud to paint the oh, no. What are you doing? Now it's been fun, really. But I think it's about time we end this. Whoa, this is majorly bogus, dudes. Surrender the Redstone Heart now. Yeah. Because, uh, I will trap you here forever. You want the Redstone Heart? You're gonna have to pick it out of my inventory. Fine by me. The hard way's more fun anyway. Useless! Well, well. Just when you thought M had your back. Turns out she... Oh, you with us or not, M? Tisk tisk. Seems like classic Emily. She's always been a touchy one. You're gonna need all the help you can get, Jesse. Time to take what is mine. I'll admit you're quick sport, but not quick enough for my axe. Oh, what the? Don't forget my axe, Hadrian! Uh. <laughs> 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 Gotta admit, kid, you've shown you got skills, but you're still no match. Let's see about that! I got this, Hadrian! <laughs> ah. Had enough, Hadrian? Wait, wait! You're right! This has gone too far! It was just supposed to be a game! You expect me to believe that? Come on, sport. Haven't you ever had anything get away from you before? I mean, can't you... forgive me? <laughs> <gasps> this game... is... No! And that's our game, sports fans! The Redstone Heart has been returned to its proper owners. <laughs> I, I lost. It's over. Oh, I... I don't think so. It's us. Yeah. I'm so happy to see you guys. You said you believed in me, Jesse. Figured I'd return the favor and believe in everyone else. You know, because I'm awesome. And we both need to get out of this. As someone once told me, teamwork makes the dream work. So let's get to work. Let's take them down. But I lost my inventory when I respawned. How am I supposed to get the Atlas back without any weapons or armor or anything? Well, we may have made a little stop in Hadrian's inventory room and helped ourselves to a few things. Awesome. Here, buddy. Wow. Take this. Thanks. Hey, suspenders! Over here! Tim's armor. Belongs to you now. Time to kick some old builder butt! Now to pick a weapon to go with my sweet new armor. Ooh, yeah, nice choice. Sweet. Payback hey, time! Hey, now, what should we do with all those other competitors who betrayed us? Well, Nevia, spending eternity in the quartz mines doesn't seem like punishment enough. <laughs> I have something special in mind for them. Hadrian! Mevia! This game just went into overtime! Well, isn't that cute? You found Tim's armor! Oh, well, isn't that just the sweetest thing, Hadrian? I'm gonna make you beg me for a deal. Seems unlikely. We don't beg sport. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy crushing you. Yeah. Harper, I'm gonna owe you one. 
time to go to work. No, no, it can't be! You, Mebia, give up! <laughs> wow, her inventory was huge. Mebia, come on! What kind of rookie move was that? Ta-ta for now, bucko. Hey, Hadrian! Huh? Over here! You mess with one member of the Order of the Stone... You mess with all Go, of Jesse! Us. I believe Time in you! Time to shut you up! You think this is going to help? You're deluded! Jesse... Let's talk about this. Hmm, is that begging? Does that sound like begging to you, Petra? It sure does, Jesse! Told you. Shut up! Just shut up! Alia, shut up! I see you don't like having a live audience, Hadrian. Jesse! Remember Splee! Got it. Now, Mevia, we have to get out of here. Come on! Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> it's going not the best, and you're not going anywhere. Yeah. Face Meat wants to discuss his benefits plan. Oh, hang on, hang on! Jesse, you did it! Again. Feels like I say that a lot. I couldn't have done anything without all of you. Well done, Jesse. An excellent job. Uh, thanks, Otto. You have truly shown my friends and I the error of our ways. I'm glad to put this whole messy business behind us. Man, do you need some new friends, you know that? Yes, I have come to that same conclusion, and I am working on it. I also know that the Atlas is not mine to keep. You have fairly defeated them. Seems only fair that you get to decide their fate. And with the Atlas, you can send them anywhere you want. Hmm. You know, there was this game that Olivia and I used to play back in our treehouse. Huh? Remember? We called it, Which Would You Rather Fight? when I yanked Pama's redstone heart right out. And the whole thing shut down. Man, you guys have had some crazy adventures. So many people trying to kill you. Goodbye, Jesse. Goodbye. Thank you. Is that all of them? Everyone that wants to go home anyhow. Except you folks, that is. I can't believe how many competitors actually want to stay and keep playing the games. Thanks to you, my intrepid new friend, I can actually work on making them fun again. Very exciting. It'll be more challenging just by myself, but a good challenge. You promise they'll stay fun this time, right? Oh, yes. I don't intend to let the games get corrupted like they did before. I'm bummed my journal never showed up. Had a lot of good stuff in there. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lucas. Well, Em, how about you? You said you wanted to go home, right? Yes, I just can't decide if it's what I want. You get to leave and go on more adventures. Do I really want to go back to farming? I mean, it has been ages since I've seen it, and I miss my friends. But what if I'm bored? Well, if you want, you can come with us. Oh, really? Like, really? Yeah, we could always use another awesome person, and... Well, you're pretty awesome. Ah, oh, Jesse, that's wonderful. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, Ivor, 
Oh, hello. What you doing? I was just observing Harper, all by herself over there. She seems lonely. Come on. Hey, Harper. Oh, hey, Jesse, Ivor. I was just watching folks head on home. Things really worked out, huh? Well, I guess this is goodbye. I'm gonna head on back to Crown Mesa and see how the Post Palma construction is going. Just hope they'll take me back. It's not my real home, but it's the closest thing I've had for, well, a long time. We'll just go with that. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll come around. I sure hope you're right. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Getting over the I was a bad guy hump can be awkward, but hopefully soon they'll invite you right back into their lives. Right, Jesse? You are a strange, strange man, Ivor. But you know something? You're okay. Take care of each other, all right? And I'll see you around. Bye, Harper. Yes, goodbye. Come on. You're amazing. So, how do we get home now? Well, the Atlas belongs to Jesse now. The deal's a deal and all that. Sweet. Uh, how does it work? Now you just say where you want to go, and the Atlas will show you the way. Why don't you just go ahead and open it? Okay, Book, take us home. Whoa! Spectacular! Incredible! Wow. Nice. There it is. Home. I assume M told you that she's coming with? Yeah, she's already promised to show me that awesome spin move. It's not so great. Figure it's about time we get heading on home, huh? That sounds awesome. Yeah! Home, here we come. Jesse, look! Can you believe it? We made it! We're home! After all that time, all those portals, we're home! Yeah, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. You're the best team anyone could ever ask for. Aw, that's lovely. Ah, oh, you big sap. I'm just so glad we're all back together. That atlas is so cool. I'm glad Otto let you keep it. Fabulous, yes! And that's not all we got. Seriously? What else did you get? Yeah, show him, Jesse. The Enchanted Flint and Steel. The one that started the whole thing. Yeah, none of these other adventures could have happened if it weren't for this. The Crown of the Eversource. The magical source of all of Sky City's precious materials. Whoa, wicked! The mask of Cassie Rose, a.k.a. the White Pumpkin. Oh, man. That's even creepier looking than I imagined. Palma's Redstone Heart. I know that Palma was evil and everything, but I still kind of wish I could have seen it. The Portal Atlas. I could have lost all the rest so long as we got to keep that. Ah! I wonder what Soren would have thought of it. So much power contained within such a tiny Whoa. object. Easy there, Ivor. Mm. Sorry. I can't believe you got to do all those incredible things. 
Makes sense, though. You were gone a long time. Wait till we show you all the improvements we've been making to town. Hang on. What is it? Wasn't that where the portal atlas was a minute ago? Yeah, that was definitely where you put it. Guys, Flint and Steel are missing too. And where's Ivor? <laughs> he must be headed for the portal network. Is that bad? What should we do? I mean, I guess he mostly knows what he's doing. That's all right. He went on just as epic a journey as the rest of us if he wants to dive right back into the portal network. Well, I think he's earned it by this point. So you think we should just let him go? Yeah, I do. Come on, guys. Let's go home. and unexpected twist. It appears we are in the land of chickens that are indeed the size of zombies. That's right, Adrian. And it looks like we're just gonna have to wing it. Wings. You, you, chicken wings, you know. You're fired, Mavia. You're fired. 